I'm in Peru, in these rugged mountains full of vegetation, cliffs, and mountain streams. We're looking for the city of the clouds, where the Chachapoyas live. It's more a fortress than a city. A fortress at an altitude of 9,850 feet. The wall is 2,000 feet long. I walk its length amazed and somewhat seasick. It's rectangular, built on a base of limestone and covers an area of 15 acres. How could this city have been inhabited by the cloud warriors, light-skinned and handsome Indians, said by Spanish chroniclers, to have been exceptionally stubborn and courageous? They were not only courageous, but also unconquered until the Incas cut off their supplies of food and water. Even then, the Chachapoyas held out for months before they surrendered. Inside the walls, Quelap is a city of round houses with unusual conical roofs. As we approach the innermost enclaves of the Chachapoyas and their cliffside tombs, the atmosphere turns otherworldly and supernatural. More than 100 mummies have been found at the sacred mountain cliffs of La Bedaga. The atmosphere here is surreal. How did they bury their dead on these inaccessible cliffs? We have no idea. It's hard to imagine. Nevertheless, the mummies are perfectly preserved. If a mummy can be considered perfect, that is. The sarcophagi of Karajia contain many Chachapoya mummies. The secrets of these statues that gaze off into space are another mystery that has yet to be explained. They are a real challenge to archaeologists, and to me they are inexplicable. I'm flabbergasted. There are those who say that these handsome Indians had European origins. European extraterrestrials? <laughs> 